<coughs> Ooh, did you hear? What do you think about that row? Before disclosing about that, let me tell you a story. The Europeans, when first entered Australia, began hearing mysterious and unearthly screams and growls from deep within the bush. Those cries were far from a normal animal growl, making settlers believe they were actually evil spirits from the devil himself. Hence, they are the Tasmanian devils. The Tasmanian devil, Sarcophilus Harrisi, is a carnivorous marsupial of the family Desluridae. It was once native to mainland Australia and is now found in the wild only on the island state of Tasmania, including tiny east coast Maria Island. The date that the Tasmanian devil became locally extinct from the Australian mainland is unclear. It, this disappearance is usually blamed on dingoes, which are not found in Tasmania. The size of a small dog, the Tasmanian devil became the largest carnivorous marsupial in the world following the extinction of the thylacine in 1936. Phylogenetic analysis shows that the Tasmanian devil is most closely related to quals. The devil stores body fat in its tail and healthy devils have fat tails. The tail is largely non-prehensile and is important to its physiology, social behavior and locomotion. It acts as a counterbalance to aid stability when the devil is moving quickly. An anogenital scent gland at the base of its tail is used to mark the ground behind the animal with its strong, pungent scent. The Tasmanian devil's large head and neck allow it to generate among the strongest bites per unit body mass of any predatory land mammal, and it hunts, prey, and scavenges carrion as well as eating household products if humans are living nearby. Tasmanian devils particularly like dry sclerophyll forest and coastal woodlands, although they are not found at the highest altitudes. The Tasmanian devil is a nocturnal and crepuscular hunter, spending the days in dense bush or in a hole. Although it is usually solitary, it sometimes eats with other devils. Tasmanian devils can take prey up to the size of a small kangaroo, but in practice they are opportunistic and eat carrion more often than they hunt live prey. Although the devil favors warm bats because of the ease of predation and high fat content, it will eat all small native mammals such as beton and potteroos, domestic mammals including sheep, birds, fish, fruit, vegetable matter, insects, tadpoles, frogs, and reptiles. Males are usually larger than females. Devils are fully grown at two years of age, and few devils live longer than five years in the wild. Females can ovulate three times in as many weeks during the mating season, and 80% of two-year-old females are seen to be pregnant during the annual mating season. Females average four breeding seasons in their life and give birth to 20 to 30 live young after three weeks gestation. The young grow rapidly and are ejected from the pouch after around 100 days. It is believed that the current size of devil population is around 10,000 to 25,000. Since the late 1990s, the devil facial tumor disease, DFTD, has drastically reduced their population. In 2008, was declared to be endangered. As the devil is the thylacine's closest relative, so there has been speculation that the thylacine could be revived by combining DNA from museum samples of thylacines with ova of the devil. The devil is an iconic symbol of Tasmania and many organizations, groups, and products associated with the state use the animal in their locals. Guys, remember Taz from Looney Tunes? He was a Tasmanian devil 
and he was true to his nature. That is, he was always hungry. It was an American animated comedy series produced by Warner Bros. Just for the ones who cannot resist cuteness, Taz was also featured as Baby Taz in Baby Looney Tunes. Devils are also a keystone species within the Tasmanian ecosystem, where they are at the top of the food chain. That's all about the Tassita. Hope you guys enjoyed. My friends Krishnakshi and Daisy helped me with the wonderful outfits. Do check out the link in the description. Please support us by liking the video. Thank you.